Hey guys, welcome to Cleaning Up History, where my goal is preservation of cemeteries and headstones while telling forgotten stories of the past. Warning, this video may contain adult content and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. So today I'm uh, here in Jacksboro, Tennessee, and I'm here to talk to you about Sheriff John M. Burnett. John was born in 1863 in Knoxville, Tennessee to William Burnett and Sally A. Bounds Burnett. Um, around 1885, the family moved to Campbell County, Tennessee. And in 1892, John Burnett was elected sheriff of Campbell County. He was around 31 years old and he was not married. On the day of March 18th of 1893, John Burnett, along with his deputy, um, Deputy Sheriff Dahl, aborted a passenger train um, in, uh, with intention to capture a desperado by the name of Jesse Jones. Now, Jesse was aware that he was uh, wanted and um, he was prepared. He had, he had some friends watching out for him that were also aboard the train that day. Uh, John Burnett, he uh, confirmed with the conductor of the train that Jesse Jones was on board and that he had paid for a fare to go to Elk Valley. So... Uh, the conductor showed Sheriff Burnett to the passenger cart in which J.C. was in and demanded that they open the door, at which point the sheriff did place J.C. Jones under arrest. Immediately after this, a, um, a whole shootout began the friends of J.C. Uh, there was some people by the name of Smith that were there in support of J.C. Jones and um there was gunfire Sheriff Burnett was shot twice once in the head and once near the heart and he died it immediately Sheriff Dahl he was also uh shot and wounded and thrown from the train and J.C. Jones at one point was also thrown from the train. And from what I gather, uh, Deputy Sheriff Dahl was actually able to capture and arrest J.C. Jones. Now, John Burnett um, was a very, very looked up to man of Campbell County. Everyone loved the sheriff of Campbell County. He was very admired and um, had many friends. He was considered a brave and, and good man. Just overall, a good man was what he was considered and referred to on numerous occasions by the citizens of Campbell County. So naturally, when word spread about the murder of their beloved sheriff, there were a lot of angry people in Campbell County. And in the 1890s, people had the habit of taking law into their own hands and not waiting for, for justice. They would, they would take the law into their own hands. So Jesse was taken to the jail at Jacksboro, Tennessee. And um, in one of the interviews, the jailer that was in charge of the jail... He, uh, he was interviewed and he was told that this mob of people came to his door armed, holding guns at him, holding him at gunpoint and demanding that he released J.C. Jones, at which he had no choice but to comply. Now, I do actually have a personal opinion about this. I mean, the, uh, the jailer at hand was also the brother-in-law of Sheriff Burnett, so... I don't, I don't think he put up too much of a fight against this mob. Uh, I think he was pretty much in agreement with the mob, wanting to take care of Jesse Jones, the, the man who killed his brother-in-law. But again, that's just my opinion that I formed from these 
all these little details of the story that I came across. So this mob of people, they um, they took Jesse Jones and they walked about a quarter of a mile away from the jail to the property uh, belonging to the Bibby family. And the reason they picked this particular property is because there was a large gate with a cross beam. One of the uh, members of the party that had formed, they climbed the flagpole and took down the rope from the flagpole. And that's the rope that they used to uh, to attach to this cross beam gate and attach to J.C. Jones. Now I'm just going to read a little excerpt of some of the articles I read. There are there are many different articles written about this incident. Like I said, Sheriff Burnett was a very liked man, so this news spread quickly. But this article it states that um, Jesse was attached to the to the crossbeam gate with a rope around his neck, and the mob ordered him to jump. And when he was ordered to jump, he replied to them, and I quote, I hate to go. So the, the, the party again ordered him to jump, and they got the same exact reply. And at this point, they were already just furious at this man, so they just swung the gate out from under him and let him hang until he was dead. And the article goes on to state, Quietly, the party dispersed, and the good people of Jacksboro lay down to sleep, convinced of the belief that the law would triumph. One of the other people that was responsible for the chaos on the train, one of the Smith boys, he was shot actually on the train, and I think the other one was eventually apprehended as well. There was there was quite a bit of discussion about where to put Mr. Burnett's remains. The family spoke of burying him in Knoxville in his hometown. Uh, John was never married, so it was his father making all the decisions. And then they talked about a burial on his father's property in Campbell County. And then um, the um, people of the community requested that they bury him near... Um, courthouse square and that they would erect a monument in his honor if they could put him in Jacksboro square so eventually it was decided that they would bury him in Jacksboro cemetery overlooking courthouse square and this is where his um his final resting place is and this is the stone that he has that was placed here in 1893 I'm going to clean this stone up just a little bit. It is a very old stone, so I don't want to cause any damage to it. I'm using this uh, biological cleaner to try to kill off some of the growth on the stone. Um, I'm just spraying it on and gently scrubbing it in. Uh, not to wear it on the stone anymore. Just scrubbing it into the to the moss growth and the old uh, buildup on the stone. And let it soak for a little bit and then rinsing it back off. Even if, once it's rinsed, since it's soaked on this biological material, the rain and wind will um, will help aid in removing the remainder of this growth. The stone will look somewhat aged still yet because it is aged. It's from 1893. So it is an aged stone and it's never, not going to look brand new. But just out of respect of Kimball County's beloved sheriff, I'm just going to try to do what I can to clean it up just a tad. And uh, this, this cleaner is approved and deemed safe for these types of stones, so it will not do any harm to the stone. My goal is uh, to preserve as for as long as possible, and I'll, I won't use any harsh chemicals to, to do anything to counteract my intentions. But that is the story of Camel County's beloved sheriff, John M. Burnett. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys because I found it to be a fascinating story. I come across stories like this on a, on a regular basis. So I plan on uploading and sharing more 
his historical uh, events with you guys. So if you like this kind of content and um, want to see more, then all you got to do is hit the subscribe button down below on the right hand side. And also, if you hit the little bell, you will automatically be notified anytime I upload a new video. So, uh, remember, subscribe and hit the notification button as well. So that you'll know when I have new content uploaded. Thank you guys for uh, listening and I will see you next time.